Jacob unwilling to part with Benjamin. BC 1707. Genesis 1 And the famine was sore in the land. 2 And it came to pass, when they had eaten up the corn which they had brought out of Egypt, their father said unto them, Go again, buy us a little food. 3 And Judah spake unto him, saying, The man did solemnly protest unto us, saying, Ye shall not see my face, except your brother be with you. For if thou wilt send our brother with us, we will go down and buy thee food. 5 But if thou wilt not send him, we will not go down, for the man said unto us, Ye shall not see my face, except your brother be with you. 6 And Israel said, Wherefore dealt ye so ill with me, as to tell the man whether ye had yet a brother? 7 And they said, The man asked us straightly of our state, and of our kindred, saying, Is your father yet alive? Have ye another brother? And we told him according to the tenor of these words, could we certainly knows that he would say, Bring your brother down? 8 And Judah said unto Israel his father, Send the lad with me, and we will arise and go, that we may live, and not die, both we, and thou, and also our little ones. 9 I will be surety for him, of my hand shalt thou require him, if I bring him not unto thee, and set him before thee, then let me bear the blame for ever. 10 For except we had lingered, surely now we had returned this second time. Here, 1 Jacob urges his sons to go and buy more corn in Egypt, verse 1, 2 The famine continued, and the corn they had bought was all spent, for it is meat that perisheth. Jacob, as a good master of a family, is in care to provide for those of his own house food convenient, and shall not God provide for his children? for the household of faith. Jacob bids them go again and buy a little food, now, in time of scarcity, a little must suffice, for nature is content with a little. 2. Judah urges him to consent that Benjamin should go down with them, how much soever it went against his feelings and previous determination. Note, it is not at all inconsistent with the honor and duty which children owe their parents humbly and modestly to advise them, and, as occasion is, to reason with them. Plead with your mother, plead, Hosey 2. 2. 1. He insists upon the absolute necessity they were under of bringing Benjamin with them, of which he, who was a witness to all that had passed in Egypt, was a more competent judge than Jacob could be. Joseph's protestation, verse 3, may be alluded to to show upon what terms we must draw nigh to God, unless we bring Christ along with us in the arms of our faith. We cannot see the face of God with comfort. 2. He engages to take all possible care of him, and to do his utmost for his safety. Verse 8, 9. Judah's conscience had lately smitten him for what he had done a great while ago against Joseph. Chapter 42. 21. And, as an evidence of the truth of his repentance, he is ready to undertake, as far as a man could do it, for Benjamin's security. He will not only not wrong him, but it will do all he can to protect him. This is restitution, as far as the case will admit, when he knew not how he could restore Joseph, he would make some amends for the irreparable injury he had done him by doubling his care concerning Benjamin.